Do you remember Tia sat with Mike Grundy, Darren Till's teammate, ahead of UFC 228, which goes down on September 8th at the American Airlines Arena in Dallas, Texas. Uh, Mike, we're sitting in the middle of the uh, UFC Performance Institute. You've been here a week now working with Darren. Uh, how's camp going and how, how's, the, how, how's Darren looking? Camp's going great. Darren's looking superb. You know, the, the atmosphere in the training, in the house where we're staying, it's all good, you know, he's got good vibes and he's, he's looking very, very good. You know, uh, I was talking to you yesterday, you picked up a little knock yourself. It, it, is that happening? I know you guys are all sparring, Darren, and there's 10 of you here with him, and, uh, you know, you guys are really going hard. Yeah, as always, Darren, he hits hard. And, you know, as you've seen, probably seen a picture last week, that I was coming off with a bloody nose, but that's normal. And, you know, he's, he's very sharp, and I'm looking forward to September the 8th, to be honest. Uh, is this your first time at the PI? It is the first time, yeah, but it, the, the facilities are amazing. For any athlete, it's an athlete's dream to be here. You know, you've got everything from recovery, everything you need training-wise and all the help you need from physios and stuff. So it's an athlete's dream to be here. And I, it's, Darren's made a good choice to come out here before he goes to Texas. You know, this fight was announced, I guess, on relatively short notice, like as a fighter yourself. Um, you know, what, what's it like having those fights coming in, uh, you know, at, at the last minute? Do you prefer them sometimes, the, the longer camps where you can think about it a lot longer? Personally, I, I, will, I don't mind because I'm always ready. I'm always uh, ready to fight. And, and Darren, you know, He's, he's a fighter. He, he switches, he switches on very easily. You know, he, when it comes to fight night, he's he's the same person. He's he's always ready to fight. You know, so he, I'm sure it'll be fine for him too. You know, facing Tyron Woodley, yeah, outstanding wrestler. You're you're also an outstanding wrestler. Like you train with Darren day in day out. Like where do you kind of assess their levels at? Darren himself says that Tyron is the better wrestler of the two, but. You know, like what, what, how, you know, how far is Darren away from Tyrone's wrestling ability? Maybe Tyrone is the better wrestler, but trust me, when when Darren's the, MMA wrestling is different to just wrestling, and Darren's footwork and Darren's striking is is going to be key in this. I think it's going to be hard for Tyrone to get older, Darren. To be honest, and like I say, I, I've wrestled a long time and I'm sparring and wrestling with him, so I know where Darren's at wrestling wise, and trust me, he's not he's not far off. You know, you know what it's like having to make the weight 145 pounds that you fight at. Um, you know, everyone's going to be talking about the weight in the next two weeks leading up to this fight. From, from you know, you're seeing Darren day in day out. Like, how's he doing? I spoke to Colin earlier. He says he's bang on track and even ahead of where he was for the Cowboy fight. He is, yeah. He's definitely on track. You know, like I said, it was a good choice for Darren to come out here to Las Vegas and train at the USCPI Centre. And he's also got a chef in the house, a nutritionist, and. You know, they can't do anything wrong, he's, he's eating exactly right, he's training perfect, he's recovering very well. You know, he's definitely going to make weight. I was also asking Colin about, you know, he's 25 years old, like, only 25 years old even. Like, where do you kind of see his level getting to and how many years do you think as a training partner he's away from being at his best? Still, he's still got, you know, he's still got a lot left in the tank, you know, he's, he's 25, like you say. He's, I, I keep saying, you know, he's going to be champ champ next year. You, you can see him moving up to middleweight? Maybe, yeah. I mean, he said it himself. You know, he said he wants to be freeweight world champ. Mm. I believe it. Yeah, I mean, there's no reason not to, I guess. Uh, no. You know, this fight coming up with Tyron, uh, people talk about it, you know, wrestler versus striker, but how do you kind of look at it from a fighter's point of view? Like, how do you kind of break this one down between these two? The way, the, the way Darren's been training, the way he's been sparring, obviously, I only see Darren winning. Um, not, not, not by all means obviously it's not going to be easy because Tyron's you know, he's a champion and he's been a champion for a while and he's going to bring it but I, I just see Darren Darren getting the knockout round uh, I'd say first <laughs> I'd say first yeah there you go well, what's it like being in the corner I know you you were involved in obviously the walkout for UFC Liverpool a bit of a uh, I guess quite quite the moment. I guess walking out in front of the Liverpool fans, like, well, what's it like? I guess sitting there, cage side, as as opposed to being in in there yourself. What, what is it you actually prefer? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's an absolute honour to be in it, to be in Darren's corner for what he's done and who, who he is. You know, he's, he's massive. I mean, especially walking out in Liverpool, even watching that video back, still sends shivers down my spine. You know, with the way the way the crowd was, they, they made that night, and it was a superb night. You know, he's he's a special special fighter. Yeah, sure is. And, uh, just lastly, I know, I know you're coming, recovering from a few injuries as well. Like, could, could we see you back before the end of the year, perhaps? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to be back before the end of the year, definitely. Uh, yeah, just sort out a few injuries right now, and I'll definitely be back. Great stuff, Mike. It's great to hear from you. Great to get the uh, inside track on the camp, and uh, no doubt we'll see you in Dallas. So thanks, thanks for your time. A lot, Jim.